beta testers. Heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. I hope you didn't like that trailer unless you're trying to get accused of toxic masculinity. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, beautiful, 007 Pierce Brosnan. And listen to my magic words, pun intended, an ex-pro wrestler who's now playing a superhero. This is exciting because this is exactly the balance that I'm looking for when it comes to charismatic, masculine, and over-the-top meatheads. You know, this is the kind of stuff that bros could enjoy. Honestly, this couldn't be better if, if Dwayne was playing Broly in a Dragon Ball Z movie. Or Krillin. Trailers feel like they're forcing it these days. They, there's no wit or writing on display, and the trailers really ram that home. But this, it, it wasn't too much, it wasn't too little, it was exactly what I wanted, and the vibe feels right. When he set him up with that, heroes don't cure people. If you wanted him to say, well, I do as much as I did, then shit, I guess this movie is for us. You know, toxic males, apparently. I couldn't help think back to the Iron Man jet sequence where Tony tried to de-escalate things and, you know, not engage when they were coming at him. In stark contrast to my man, you know, <laughs> just fuck that. You know what I mean? It feels the way that we would play, like, a superhero game. If, it, if this movie is at least half Dwayne The Rock Johnson with superpowers playing s fucking Grand Theft Auto in Unreal Engine 5, I'm gonna be fine with that. Iron Man is 14 years old now, and as a fan of The Rock going as far back as when WWE was called WWF, I can tell you that Dwayne was actually asking for fans to vote on whether or not he should play Shazam or Black Adam as far back as 2007. That's before Iron Man came out. Think about Marvel kicking Iron Man through Endgame out in that time. Crazy, huh? You get the best performances out of people who are passionate about what they're doing, so I'm glad that this can exist. Just like the Joker 2 being announced, uh, it warms my heart, makes me happy that a well-crafted and nuanced creation can exist, even if people kinda had to be tricked into going to see that. Uh, DC seems to be I don't know, hitting some sort of stride. They have uh, struck a tone here that I think it's what people are gonna want out of a superhero movie. James Gunn's Suicide Squad, Shazam, Aquaman, Black Adam, if these are indications of where DC is headed in the future, I'm sure that they'll be making much more fun movies than whatever, you know, gender education the MCU is setting up, man. Um, here's hoping that, uh, <laughs> that their stars can stop pooping people's beds and getting into scraps with people at a Hawaiian karaoke bar. <laughs> Thank you for the entertainment in and out of these movies. Here's hoping, uh, you know, the DC games can get it together. Um, you know, give Insomniac Spider-Man some competition. Damn it. <laughs> it's not funny. That's exactly. What you're <laughs> Yo, you're, I'm gonna fart. Wow. <laughs> That's not funny, dude. It's really fucking stupid. I love it. I'm like <laughs> furious with how stupid that looked. I'm like, I'm like, I don't even want to. <laughs> Get it the fuck out of here! You could have, you could have made the collar blue, and it's just shit. And it's, it's too tight. <laughs> it's just terrible. <laughs> it's, oh god, I'm sick of it.